afternoon everyone medical science has made many advances one such advance is stem cell therapy stem cell therapy i've heard about it but what exactly is stem cell therapy oh uh, i have no idea about stem cell therapy there are many people having such questions stem cell therapy is a topic which is discussed a lot but still there's a lot of mystery around it there is a lot of uncertainty around it in newspapers we read about stem cell therapy cases some are positive news some are there are a lot of controversy around it but what exactly is the truth what exactly is what what actually is the fact we need to remove the darkness of ignorance the darkness of uncertainty around stem cell therapy and replace it with the light of awareness with the light of knowledge today we have with us one of the top doctors one of the top stem cell therapists in navi mumbai dr pradeep mahajan of stemare he would be talking about stem cell therapy and he would be clearing all our doubts all our uncertainties about stem cell therapy yes he would re be replacing the darkness of ignorance around stem cell therapy with the light of awareness with the light of knowledge so welcome doctor so doc thank you for getting me on your board here today on this uh, platform where probably your efforts to enlighten the audience and the people and the doctors about the knowledge of the futuristic science a science which is coming in the future particularly you can say the cutting edge science i call this science to be an solution for health crisis now with the standard medical care we have seen many of the conditions like cancers autoimmune diseases diabetes thyroid developmental disorders degenerative conditions pediatric developmental problems or birth injury problems genetic problems there's a non unending list which we in the standard care we say them there is no treatment in the standard medical practice which we are working on today um, we leave them on the their own fate or try to go for some very toxic drugs like steroids monoclonal antibodies which has got or disease modifying drugs or immunosuppressants now these molecules are, have got more side effects than the disease progress and ultimately with this kind of treatment in addition to chemo and radio in cancers remember patient ends up his painful life in a very bad way having complications of drug and having complications of disease both together instead of curing the disease we are talking of increasing the disease is going to talk today instead of killing the cells to manage this disease how do we survive these cells how do we teach them to become friendly the question remains here this all cells of your body are part of your body they cannot be your enemy and when they are behaving like enemy to you in the form of autoimmune disease cancers or developmental problems or immuno deficiencies it means there is some wrong in our body and there are no drugs to repair its systems so we need to think on a separate platform how do we deal with this disease this particular status where we find challenges to manage this disease i briefly call it to be a health crisis now if you want to overcome this health crisis and you want really curative treatments or treatments which can bring the patient back to the same status before he got the disease there is no drug in the world which can bring this back to the disease status before the disease he had health status before the disease he had then we have to think in a other platform can we regenerate the tissues can we make the body environment visible to the cells can we make the things happen of repairing in the body than treating the signs and symptoms if we have this philosophy then we have to change our information of knowledge from standard pharmaco based drugs to biology based drugs when we come to biology based drugs from a pharmaco based drug 
the concept is totally different. Concept says in the biology, there's a cell, there's a nucleus, there are cytoplasmic organelle, there is extracellular matrix, which is maintaining the ecosystem of your body. Now, can we use this ecosystem of the body, which normally works and maintains the repairing of our body into therapies? So we change the foundation of pharmacobased medicines to biological-based medicines. And these biological-based medicines works with the synchronization of the body's repair system. And this repair system can take our body health status before the disease, the way we were there after the biological treatments. Under this treatment of stem cell technology, it's a banner called as a regenerative medicine. And under regenerative medicine, we have a huge application for cancers, for autoimmune diseases, for diabetes, for other diseases like degenerative problems, Alzheimer, Parkinson, dementias, supranuclear palsy, motor neuron disease in the adult. Also, cerebrovascular accidents, spinal cord injuries, and in the children's like autism, cerebral palsy, hyperactivity, global developmental delay, hypoxic injury, ADHD, take all of them together. So looking at all these diseases with the standard medical care, we use a pharmacobased molecular medicine or pharmacobased drug medicines. We just treat signs and symptoms. The disease in the body keeps on progressing. For your example, in diabetes, taking insulin oral anti-diabetic medicines are dealing with the insulin, not with the pancreas and microenvironment of the body, which has brought the disease to me. Here we are talking to change the microenvironment and improve the pancreatic function. So as we become back as if before diabetes we got it. The concept is changing the disease management from symptomatic treatment to curative treatment, reparative treatment, regenerative treatment, replacement treatment. This is something cutting edge science which we are looking today changing the medical science changing the future of medicine applied with these kind of sciences to all the diseases which have remained as a challenge which I spoke just now. So we are looking as a futuristic platform how do we repair the bodies? How do we change the microenvironment of the bodies and cure them from the molecular level? That is what the idea is in this new science. Yes. Thank you so much, doctor, for sharing your wonderful insights. So, doctor, you mentioned some diseases that stem cell therapy can be used for treating. So, are all these diseases FDA approved or they are still under clinical trial? We are talking, this question is a very primitive question. Remember, any science to come to bench to bedside, it has a transition phase. And we are in this transition phase. There is question of FDA approval or not FDA approval comes much later during the transition phase. This transition phase gives an experience learning the processes. How do we do bring these technologies from a bench to beds? So this is in transition phase, experimental base. Some of the products, some of the science have gone across this transitional phase and come to the bedsides of utility to the patient. Some of them are in the transition phase, but beauty of the science is that when we use autologous cells of your own body, which are doing microscopic miracle workers job in the repairing system of your entire systems of body, we don't require autologous any kind of FDA approval. If it is done at a single process, single process, isolation of the stem cells, and transplanting them from the patient's own body 
which could be homologous, which could be autologous, either of them. Homo means part from the same part of the body. If it is a bone, if I use for the bone, it is homologous. If I take it from bone, if I use for muscles or some other organs, it is autologous. So knowing this concept, therapy development using autologous is a domain of a physician to understand the science. Because in this, we are working body's reparative system, which normally is being maintained by the nature into converting into therapeutic applications. Whenever the homeostasis of the body, symbiosis of the body with the environment, it is being adjusted to the amount of injury by the repairing system. We usually don't require treatment, body takes care of. But when the damages are more and the repairing system doesn't cope up to the extent to make the disease free, and homeostasis of the body has gone haywire, it means we have gone into disease phase. That is a time where we want to convert these therapeutic, therapeutic doses of the repairing system from a normal physiological dose to pharmacolo pharmacological dose. And then we work three to four times, four to five times number of cells, number of growth factors, number of cytokines, number of therapies to the targeted part of the body. And then the person comes into various rehab programs. This brings a repetitive system into action with multifold strength to repair, cell force to repair, cytokines to repair, chemokines to repair, bioactive molecules to repair, exomes to repair. Then you get the pharmacological effect of these molecules. So knowing this, we have to understand can we convert these technologies into main line of treatment? Yes, autologous, we can. We don't require FDI approval for autologous to the same part or the body if they are done into one go. But when you want to sell the product in the market for treatment and use allogenic or you do some processes on the cells in the lab, then it comes as a product. Then we require FDI approvals. I think I have made very clear yes, on the yes, concept doctor. of regulation, FDI yes. approval. How do we deal with that? Because one of I was one of the members who has guided the drafted the guidelines for the government of India. Next. Great. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you so much for sharing your wonderful insights. So we shall now proceed with the next question. Uh, doctor, so what are the, the side are there any side effects of this treatment? Like this treatment is very beneficial that we what we came to know. But like are there any risks or are there any side effects associated with simple therapy? In fact, this question is very much encouraging for the audience to understand because everyone needs to know when they are adapting the new technologies, new sciences, are they having some side effects? It is too early to comment on that. It is too early to comment that. When we talk of adverse effects, we categorize in two forms. One are hazardous, not hazardous, but incidence immediately side effects but in my knowledge and the science speaks there are no instant side effects when we use autologous stem cells there are some safety studies are going on when you talk of allogenic which are in the animal studies have proven they are very safe they have proven in also human beings they are very safe but to say absolutely no is very early to comment on that because we don't know the results of 20 years. We don't know the results of 30 years. We don't know the results of 10 years. So I really don't know what is going to be after 10 years or 20 years or 30 years. So we need to wait and watch and take the benefits to untreatable conditions, which otherwise also there are no solutions to those diseases. This is a wise way to take the experience, go through the study material, go through the animal studies, human studies, and draw proper protocols. Unfortunately, this science has a little different approach than the pharmacology science. This is called as a personalized, customized, precise treatment. So having an experience of standalone of the protocol is very difficult in this, which we decide to make it into some other conditions like pharmacological drugs may be used. But here, there are some challenges. We are dealing with the living cells. 
which are breathing living entities the way your body breathes the cells also breathe so never forget your handling will decide your environment will decide target delivery will decide the count of the cell will decide when to give the treatment will decide the in environmental factors like temperature hygroscopic action of water contained in the environment pollutant in the air and the materials we use reagents we use medias we use for developing them does affect that so we really have to work hard to standardize them for the long term so when they become the streamlined treatments of the main probably we'll have a lot of wonderful protocols to treat this disease today we are at transition phase so we look at it as a challenging subject we don't say that this is a standard medical care we say that's a investigational treatments i hope i made you clear yes uh, yes doctor it's clear thank you so much so doctor continuing this so doctor like you said still like research is going on still we have a lot to explore in stem cell therapy so you have done many therapies so alex i want to know your opinion what like what do you think is stem cell therapy the future does it have that scope like it does it have a like a huge success rate or potential so what, what like as a like a stem cell therapist doctor what would you say about stem cell therapy future like is it a new hope for me rather i would say looking at the application of biological science in future it is going to replace the entire pharmacological base in future because whatever the drug we are using those are pharmacologen acting on one receptor of the body but when i'm talking about the technology which is required here using stem cells and growth factors of regenerative medicine this is a multi folded molecule living drug molecule which has action on multiple receptors at a time so modulating pain modulating immune system modulating repair system is much much parallel to the repair system of the body like symbiotic to the body synergic to the body so in future i believe i believe this science of regenerative medicine will be replacing most of the therapeutic applications in the standard medical care and once it comes in the mainstream we will find out solutions to the big unsolved questions of today of various diseases why and why we can do it so this science is answer to all unanswered questions of the past science i believe i think i have made it scientifically very clear how we are going ahead with this science yes, yes doctor thank you so much thank you so much for sharing your wonderful insight doctor i if you are okay sharing can we share one such a patient story like a patient that came to you and got successfully treated through stem cell therapy so if you are comfortable sharing please can you share that patient treatment journey with our audiences in fact shalini if you look at the current situation i have hundreds of patients untold stories which have changed their family life their personal life their social life and from death bed where they were said that nothing can be done you have to live with this are leading the normal life and i will share you multiple stories like story of subi she had a polyneuritis of the body polymyositis of the body including nerves and muscles of the body autoimmune disease was there she was unable to stand walk she has taken all steroids she has taken all disease modifying drugs all immunosuppressants and what not she was to the stage where the story was said by the doctor ki you don't have any solution you have to live like this i will send you a beautiful story or journey of this lady from bed to the social life where she had accepted to live with the disease now she has forgotten that she has a disease now this is a big change once you know i have get i have a disease don't you think this is a big contrast in the life of a person yeah. so i can share with you multiple stories of this kind and also share their numbers their experiences you can take them to the people for changing their life by using this technologies thank you that's great 
great doctor that's great i'm sure like this answer would have really you know have would have eradicated the darkness of despair that people have the patients have and it would have been replaced with a new light of hope a new light of faith so i'm definitely sure like many people who might be suffering from severe diabetes or autism like listening to your this answer like that that you know uncertainty that despair might have got replaced with a new sunshine a new light of hope a new light of faith thank you so much doctor for sharing your wonderful insights and thank you so much for giving for spending uh, time to answer these questions it means a lot thank you so much Lejay Salni for making me here on your platform today and giving me chance to reach to the people, audience, doctors, and stakeholders of the society to learn more about this cutting edge science and how this cutting edge science is changing the face of medicine in the future. Pleasure to be here. I'm really happy. Thank you.